Hi everyone, welcome to my makeup channel here. My name is Erica Matilda, also known as Pinky. Um, so we're just starting off with pounding that foundation all over your face and under your neck. Don't forget under your neck, especially to make it all blend beautifully and look as natural as possible. So today I'm going to be doing this tutorial on how I did the Valentine's makeup look. Basically, if you wanted to know how I do my hearts, this is one very easy way that I do it according to me. Um, so I must say that the palette I used here was the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Now you do not have to use this palette. You can use any palette you want, any colors you want, but it's just an example of how I do my makeup. I'm adding concealer to make it like that blank canvas on my face so I can start the eyeshadow look so make sure it looks evened out and pretty light basically you can use any concealer that's lighter than your skin tone preferably white especially if you're gonna use any type of colors that really pop and even like those really pastel colors that I'm going to be using today. You're going to need a really light concealer or and almost white. So yeah. I also use the um, Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit cosmetics you can go to Ulta and get one this is just what's easiest for me there are other ways to do bras and either way is perfectly fine so yeah all right so i use an angled brush to clean up my bras and i think it's a very important step that i forget during lives and I actually feel like during my lives, I forget a lot of steps. And it's one of the reasons why I've decided to start doing my makeup tutorials this way. Also, I went in with powder and I basically set my concealer and my foundation right away. I like to do this because I like to look good right away like I like to have my foundation already done and set to begin with and if there's like any fallout I can just brush it off you know what I mean talking about I think the most important tip that I can say from the beginning was that my goal was to put that baby purple color all over the lid entirely so that I could really make the heart stand out and see how I'm like brushing off the eyeshadow I really don't mind fallout because I can just brush it and if not I can just reapply some concealer and set it and powder it and you know you all know the deal but this is just the way that I like to do it Alright, so I'm very focused in basically blending that color all over the lid. Like I said, I was doing that on the other side. 
everyone let's get to this tutorial because we got to get moving so first thing you got to do is you got to start basically doing a rough draft i use this concealer it's called pro contour i believe it's called yeah it's called pro concealer my bad pro concealer high definition from la girl you can get this at dollar tree dollar store family dollar walmart i believe but it's from la girl and basically i just use it because it is a light concealer and it does have like that little brush but you could start off with a brush if you don't have this type of concealer and just start to do sort of like a draft and just start making like hearts um the best way for me is to know and start off knowing that it's not gonna be perfect you know you're just gonna shape and mold and you're gonna mess up and just keep reshaping and keep adding eyeshadow like start drying out a heart and then grab like another brush with the same color from the background and carve out the heart if you know what i mean that's what i'm doing here i'm actually going back into that purple shadow and i'm like cleaning it up little by little just making it like look more and more like a heart i also use a white pencil and i feel like it actually helped me make you know like the first two circles that makes the heart and then i went in with the color shadow whatever you want your heart to be you want it to be red you want it to be pink or whatever color you want you just start filling in that shape of a heart and it's not going to be perfect you just need to worry about having that pigment that you want the heart on in that area where you're going to basically later go on and outline it with a liner i used a white liner but you can use a black liner if you like you can use any other color liner you want um as long as it's like not the same as the color heart because i wanted to stand out whether i use a white liner or a black but here the idea was for me to draw like those little candy hearts that you get for valentine's day because this is a valentine's day inspired look so i wanted to draw like those little heart candies and i just thought you know to make it look sort of like kind of like cartoonish i wanted to do it with white but you can do black or whatever color you want i would say choose a different color from the heart just to like outline it and make it stand out and um just start like with very light strokes even if it's barely visible it's better to slowly keep adding more liner than to like add too much so i basically start off with really soft strokes and just keep on building color and just shaping and you know um i'm here outlining it 
And I'm actually taking my time. I really, really took my time with this. So I think that's really important just to take your time with it and don't rush it, you know. Because you do want to add little by little. And that's just my best tip. So I will let the video play for itself. And also, hope you enjoy.